Hey you guys, it's me and Trini. We're here with her three month update. It's a little behind because she turned three months on June 12th. But I still wanted to get on here and update you guys. I'm hoping to be back on here more regularly and vlogging again. But I do update my Twitter and Instagram pretty frequently. So if you want to keep up with us, that's the best way. Um, but I do plan to get back into doing videos more often. It's a lot going on with Miss Trini. She's growing up. She's 15 weeks now. She'll be 16 weeks on Monday. So I took, I wrote down some notes for this video so that I can try to go through it fairly quickly. So basically uh, progressions with her, as you can see she's holding her head up really well. She also holds her head up really well during tummy time. Uh, as far as tummy time, we do it a couple times a day for maybe like five minutes if that. I just do it as long as she'll tolerate it. She doesn't seem to be like a big fan of it, but I do try to put her like on my chest because she's fine with that. So um, I'm just glad that, you know, she's holding her head up well. So I think that's one of the most important things with that. So hopefully as she gets older, she'll start to like it more. But I tell her she's gonna have to get used to her tummy because she's gonna be crawling and everything. So uh, she's grabbing things as far as like the objects on her play mat and also the objects on her bouncer seat, which she'll, she's staying in that longer because before she would start fussing as soon as she got in it. But usually she'll only stay like 20 to 30 minutes and then that's usually if I have her like in front of the TV. But when she is watching TV, it is something educational. So I don't plan to have the TV babysitter. Other than that, she's doing a lot of smiling, squealing. She loves screaming. She's definitely recognizing her voice. She recognizes her hands. She actually that's what she's doing now. Well, now she stopped, but she likes to um, grasp her hands together and put her fingers in her mouth. So she's realizing that she has hands. She's had a couple of photo shoots. She did uh, some pictures for Father's Day. Um, as a gift for daddy and plus with that week was our wedding anniversary and my husband's birthday so that was a very busy week um, she grabs she'll hold her rattle for a little bit I hand it to her and she'll hold it and shake it and then she'll drop it but she isn't like reaching for it yet uh, when she lays on her back she loves to kick her feet up she um as far as sleeping, she's doing really well with sleeping. She may wake up um, once through the night. Sometimes she has nights where she'll just sleep straight through, like seven, eight hours. Uh, for the most part, she'll sleep four or five hours and wake up for feeding and then go back to sleep. I'm trying to transition her into the crib. She did sleep in her crib for four hours last night, which was really good because usually she gets fussy. Or she'll wake right up as soon as I put her in the crib. So she still sleeps in her swing, but she has one of those snuggle bunny ones, so it lays flat. So I'm just trying to, because I know she's going to get bigger, and eventually she's not going to fit that. So I'm trying to break her out of that. But I do try to cut the, sometimes I do leave the swing on, but for the most part I try to cut it off because I don't want her to be used to motion to go to sleep. She um, went to the pool once. She did really well. We were only there about 10 minutes because it was about to storm, but she seemed to really like it. I do plan to have her do swimming lessons. The YMCA, they start lessons at six months, so uh, based on how the weather is at that time, I would like for her to start lessons, and especially since I don't know how to swim, so I'm not going to have my daughter not knowing how to swim. She's had a couple, two days out with just daddy. Um, I mean, for a few hours, but it's nice to have like those breaks because I'm with her all the time. Um, week before last, we had, or was that last week? It was the week during Father's Day. I got the flu and the Friday leading up to that, like I had like a sore throat all day and then like that Saturday I had a headache all day and by the time Sunday came around for Father's Day I just felt really hot so I had a fever of almost um, 103 
So, and at that point, I hadn't been taking any medication because I didn't really want to take anything with um, breastfeeding and everything. So, I knew with a fever at high, I had to do something to reduce it. So, I got in touch with a pediatric nurse, and they said it was fine to take Tylenol or Motrin. So, just my fever, like, it would go down, but it would go right back up, even with on the medication. So by like that Monday, I had to, I went to the urgent care, and then I found out that I had the flu, and I don't even know how I caught the flu. And so I was just hopeful, you know, that she wouldn't get sick and would be exposed to it. But by the time Tuesday came around, she started to have a fever. So I took her to the pediatrician, and they tested her, and she had the flu, which... Um, I hadn't had the flu since I was a kid, and I don't remember being tested for it. And since I had to be tested at urgent care, they stick this thing like all the way up your nose. It's very uncomfortable. So I knew that was only uncomfortable for her. So she was really fussy about that. So um, that was no fun with being sick, still having to take care of the baby, being worried about the baby getting sick, then your baby getting sick, then having to take care of your baby. But thankfully, um, I don't know if she had like the chills or the body ache or anything, but the only outward um, symptom that I was able to see was the fever. Uh, towards the end of the week, she did get a little, her nose got a little stuffy, but she uh, was pretty good for um, not feeling well. I could tell that she wasn't feeling well because she would um, go to sleep as soon as she ate. Like she would just lean on my shoulder and go to sleep. So. I could just tell she wasn't feeling well. Um, so thankful to be past that. Um, so I, while I had the flu, they gave me Tamiflu and they gave me amoxicillin, uh, antibiotic. And I was debating whether to still uh, breastfeed because I was instructed. Well, I had different views. The doctor at urgent care told me not to breastfeed. The pharmacist told me not to breastfeed, and I spoke with a lactation consultant. They said it was fine. I spoke with the nurse at the pediatrics office. They were fine with me breastfeeding on an amoxicillin, but not the Tamiflu. So at the end of the day, I did decide to breastfeed because, you know, there's so many important things in breast milk and if anything that, you know, helped build her immunity, and maybe that's why she didn't have it so bad. So... Um, you know, hopefully uh, it's no issues from that, but it was the decision I decided. And speaking of breastfeeding, so, okay, obviously from saying that I'm still breastfeeding, I'm doing a lot of pumping. Um, she doesn't nurse that well, but what I try to do is give her the bottle and let her finish on the breast. That was the advice that I was given, and also that would help increase my supply. So she gets majority breast milk and she supplements with um, Infamil Newborn. So she may have one or two bottles. Uh, she usually at least gets one bottle of formula a day, um, two at the most. So thankful to still be giving her breast milk. It is very tiresome with all that pumping and washing the parts and stuff. But I just feel, especially with me being home right now, I just feel guilty if I was just to stop doing it since I am producing some milk and I am noticing a difference with my supply so I'm hoping we can get back to being exclusively on breast milk but you know I am thankful for what I'm producing and that she you know she's getting majority breast milk so um at the four month mark then I'll switch her to the infamil I they call it one on the, like stage one or whatever, but that starts at the four months mark. So, um, uh, I was trying to see what else. Um, <laughs> she does her little grunting and stuff. She swears she knows how to talk. We'll have like little dialogues. It's so cute. And, uh, other than that, um, uh, started looking at daycares um most y'all know that i'm at home so I'm not working i left my previous job right before i found out i was pregnant i was commuting to a different city and i had been applying for jobs and going on interviews up to being 30 weeks pregnant and i didn't find a job 
And so I decided to um, start again after I had the baby. And my husband and I, we've agreed, you know, for me to, to stay home like the first six months or whatever. So I'm just trying to plan ahead now because I know typically with daycare's waiting list and stuff, and it might be a little too late even now looking. So I went and looked at one last week, and it's really close to home. Um, it was okay. It just seemed like I got to see, like, the infant area. Just the um, the girl there, she seemed a bit overwhelmed. But they were supposed to be within, you know, state regulations of four babies to one adult. So we'll see how that goes. And see, that's her with the hands. She loves her hands. I think that's uh, pretty much it for Trinity. Um, other than that, with me, um, not much <laughs> changes with me. And I did my uh, well woman's exam a few days ago, and my doctor said like, everything, you know, has healed back up like how it should. Um, I think I discussed last time that I am on birth control. I'm on the Camilla. It doesn't have the estrogen in it. So it's supposed to not affect breast milk. And, oh, um, I meant to say with her appointment, she was 11 pounds, 7 ounces. So she's more than doubled her weight uh, since birth. So she is growing. So here's Trinity. Mm -hmm. she, um, oh, I don't know if I mentioned because I don't know if this was going on the last time we did the video, but she, I thought she wasn't losing hair, but she has this little spot. Um, but it's from, I guess when she lays down, that's where she lays the most. So I was just told as she's sitting up more and stuff that'll grow back in but other than that her hair is still intact <laughs> so um yeah that's it for us you guys thanks for watching i hope everyone's doing well and we will see you for tranny's four month update